Never underestimate the power of stupid people in large groups. I didn't say that. Oh, and I mean, I, I did I did say that, but I, I, um, I didn't make that up. My husband gave me this little sign with that quote, and, and it's been sitting right here where I paint for, for years. Lately, I've been, I've been having trouble looking at that sign. I feel stupid lately. I feel, while I've been under what feels like house arrest for the rest of the world, I feel stupid. I can't focus. I can't read a single book. For months, I open them. I close them. Getting to the end of an article feels like a triumph. My only reliable daily ritual has been coming out here to the breezeway and painting. Hi, honey. <laughs> That's me. <laughs> my husband, which I've managed to do every day. Painting just makes me feel connected to the world. And people have been painting for thousands of years, well before this pandemic madness gobbled up what's left of our old lives and, and gave us whatever this is in return. Oh, I keep obsessively thinking of all these little conversations which made me nervous four years ago. My mother, oh, she said, oh, don't touch your face. My mother said, um, I think he's interesting. And I screamed at her. I told her that if she voted for him, I, I would stop communicating with her. I, I would no longer be her daughter. And she said, no, no, she would not vote for him. But she could not deny that she's interesting. No, honey, I'm okay for now. Thank you. That's so sweet to me. <laughs> One of my smartest girlfriends, after the Access Hollywood tape came out, she said, constantly watching me, still, still, I, she said, the girl said, still, I can't stand her. And I told her not only did I disagree, but that I, I loved her. In fact, I was, I was in love. I was. And she said, no, no, don't get me wrong. I'm not going to vote for him. <laughs> but still, I can't stand her. <laughs> well, to this day, I don't know. We, <laughs> I don't know if she voted or not. We lost touch. My cousin lives in Philadelphia, Pennsylvania, <laughs> a battleground. And she said she was voting for the orange fucking con artist. I, I'm, I just, I cannot, I can't bring myself to say his name before I cut off communications with my cousin, I, I said, why? <laughs> and she said, because she was a single issue voter and her issue was jobs. <laughs> well, how's that going for you now? Cause trust me, it does not bring me any solace to say, I knew, I knew, I knew. <laughs> I mean, he's, he's a huckster, a flim flam man, um, scam artist. How many presidents do you know run for re-election to run out the statute of limitations? I keep thinking of the framers and what they would do with this monstrosity. They would vomit up their cider all over, all over him. Do you know what the population of our country was when our constitution was written? It's less than 4 million people. There are more than 4 million people in Massachusetts today than there were in our whole country then. Oregon, this is Oregon, the state of Oregon today is about the same amount of people as in our whole damn country back in 1790. Bill de Blasio governs millions more citizens than George Washington ever did. And he's a bit taller, a little taller. My husband, oh, he's, he's heard all this, of course. He always tells me I should do one of two things, run for office or go paint. Who can blame him? Because I wake up from not enough sleep and I have a cup of coffee and sometimes a little breakfast. It's my favorite, my favorite meal. And, and, and then this political deluge, rage, rage, rage begins. And I, I, I don't want to stay inside and I can't go outside because if I saw someone without a mask from too close to me, I would punch them in the face. And I, I'm not used to punching people. I'm, non, I'm a nonviolent person. So I come out here to our breezeway and I pick up a brush and I dip it into a relaxing color and I, I paint every single day. And it does, it, it does soothe me. Doesn't that look soothing? And I, no, I don't. <laughs> I, I used to like red nail polish, but it, 
reminds me too much of him. Or orange. No, I'm just orange polish. I'm not an orange girl. I wonder what it would feel like to paint on canvas again. Hmm.